Hi guys. So in today's lecture, we will talk about hemorrhagic stroke. In hemorrhagic stroke, we will first talk about intracranial hemorrhage, that is intraparenchymal hemorrhage, and then we will talk about subarachnoid hemorrhage. And in this particular lecture, we will discuss a very interesting mnemonic based on breakup. So this hemorrhage is like breakup. Just keep this thing in mind, okay? Though this is very very silly mnemonic, but I promise this will be very very productive, okay? Here I must highlight a particular word that is breakup. you guys might have experienced this particular breakup quite number of times okay so in case of subarachnoid hemorrhage we have already discussed there can be rupture of berry aneurysms as most common cause of subarachnoid hemorrhage this rupture is equivalent to breaking so this subarachnoid hemorrhage is mainly result of rupture of berry aneurysm so in this particular mnemonic breaking that is breakup will be equivalent to subarachnoid hemorrhage so you can replace this breakup with subarachnoid hemorrhage in this particular mnemonic okay now let's decode this particular mnemonic here you have his his is related to hess scale that is your hunt and hess scale for assessing severity of subarachnoid hemorrhage what is silly we have already talked about sylvian fissure So in this particular case, we did talk about blood in sylvian fissure as major CT scan finding of subarachnoid hemorrhage. What is breakup? See, breakup rhymes like berry. So this is mainly due to rupture of berry aneurysms. Too simple to understand. Now let's also dissect this word subarachnoid hemorrhage. So here you have SA. SA will represent xanthochromic CSF. This xantho I know can be written like this xanthochromic, but for understanding, in this particular case, you have xanthochromic CSF, SA or XA. This will is related to circle of villus, and where this circle of villus is present in the subarachnoid space. Okay, right? This cause intense is related to cerebral ischemia. and in this particular case i have already discussed about diffused cerebral ischemia due to vasospasm you guys already know about this thunder clap headache that is worst headache in lifetime of patient and this clap is related to clipping surgery that is application of clip to prevent further bleed or clipping of other aneurysms present which might bleed any time right so clipping and coiling as major surgical treatment in management of subarachnoid hemorrhage and i did talk about presence of neck rigidity as well but in this particular case there will be no fever that's how you differentiate subarachnoid hemorrhage with meningitis